Hello Catholic Churches, this is just a re-recording of today's thought as we did have a few technical issues earlier on. So in the reading today it says about the man who goes away for a long time and entrusts his money with his servants. Note though that he did not give them the money, he was entrusting them with it. They were expected to do something with that, with what they had been entrusted with as their master would have done. In those days they were called stewards. Stewards were ones who acted on behalf of their owner. In this story the owner represents God. The servants stroke stewards represent us. The first stewardship principle we learn is we don't own anything. God owns it all. He owns everything, everything. We have, we have belongs to him. God just asks us to manage it for him. I can remember being in McDonald's many moons ago with my nephew Martin. I took the healthy option of a chicken salad. My nephew had fries. As we sat there and I watched him eating his fries, I kept thinking to myself, oh, just one. One won't hurt, surely. So I decided to reach out to take one and he snatched them away with the most amazing speed. I barely saw it happen. You see, my nephew didn't realise where those fries came from. He forgot that five minutes earlier, I went to the counter, reached in my purse and paid for them with my money and bought them for him. I am the source of the fries. Martin, though, didn't understand that. He also didn't understand that if I wanted to, I could take those fries away from and he also didn't understand that I could also bless him with a lot more fries, more than he could ever imagine. I didn't really need his fries. If I really wanted some, I could have gone and ordered some more for myself. But what I really wanted was for my nephew to willingly share what I had already given him. It was an amazing show of ingratitude. I had paid for them, they were mine, but Martin wouldn't share and sometimes we are just like that. God gives us something and then we act like it's all ours, saying no, 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 God, and we are unwilling to give back even just a little bit. How could we become so possessive of something that God gave us in the first place? The height of ingratitude is for God to give us something and then, like Martin when, with the fries, we act like it's our own. God has entrusted us with what he has given us. In the reading today, one of the servants received five talents of money. Another he gave two and another he gave one, each according to his ability. Then he went on his journey. A talent was a unit of silver in Jesus' day. A talent would have been worth about two and a half years of wages of an average worker. They are therefore being entrusted with a considerable amount of money. When I read this, I felt it was unfair how it was distributed. It doesn't seem right. Why didn't he give them all an equal amount? I often wonder why some people are more blessed than others. I don't understand why God gives us different amounts. But I don't really need to understand. That's his right. God has the right to distribute to us as he chooses. It all belongs to him. When it comes to money, we also don't have any rights. We are stewards. The owner has rights. The steward has responsibilities. So two of the servants managed the money they were entrusted with. They acted as stewards on his behalf. They no doubt knew the priorities of their owner. The job of the steward is to adopt the priorities of the owner. If everything you have belongs to God and he entrusts you with it, then whose goal should we work for? Yes, stewardship is, is using God-given resources to accomplish God-given goals. If you put God's kingdom first, if you use God-given resources to accomplish his priorities and goals, then in turn God promises to supply your needs. One day we, st we will stand before him and be accountable for how we handled what he entrusted us with. 
you are accountable to God for everything, including money.